All right, let's solve this system of equations as well using process of elimination. So once again, uh, finding a uh, common coefficient for either x or y, we're going to have to do some work. So it doesn't matter which one we eliminate. In the previous example, we eliminated x. So in this one, we will eliminate y instead. So we need to multiply the coefficients of y by some value in order to get the same coefficient. Uh, that doesn't mean we have to multiply both of them by the same number. It just means we need to multiply them by some number in order to get the same coefficient. That may sound confusing. Let, let me ex explain here in the example. So uh, I would want perhaps the coefficient of y to be 45. Maybe you chose 90 or another uh, common multiple of each of these. Uh, it doesn't matter which one you use. Just may take some simplifying at the end if you don't use the lowest uh, common multiple. So uh, 9 I'm going to multiply by 5, which would give me 45. But if I do it to one of the terms, I need to multiply the other terms by the same uh, number as well. So in the top equation, it gives us negative 45x plus 45y equals 45. Now on the second equation, in order to get a common coefficient of y, which is 45, I would need to multiply that 5 by 9. So I'm also going to multiply all the other terms by 9 as well. This gives me a new equation. So 9 times negative 4x is negative 36x, and we'll multiply the other ones as well. So from that second equation, we have the equation in red. Now, what we can do from here is to, I apologize, let me fix that. Uh, we can eliminate the y's, right? 45y minus 45y, that just becomes a zero there. And if we take negative 45x and subtract 36x, that gives us a negative 81x. And 45 minus 369, is a negative 324. Finally, to solve for x, we'll just divide both sides by negative 81. And that would tell us then that x is 4, because uh, we have two negatives right here, which would give us a positive there. So in the point, we know the value of x already, and it is 4. So we just need to solve for the y value now, and we can use either of the original equations to do that. Uh, the equation I'm going to use is the second one. So notice I've rewritten the equation here, but instead of x, I have a 4 there. And multiplying these two gives us a negative 16. Minus 5y equals negative 41. Then to get rid of the 16, I'll add 16 to both sides. And that gives us a negative 5y equals negative 25. Then we'll divide both sides by negative 5 and get y equals a positive 5. So that value now goes into the coordinate pair as well. Uh, but the final thing we're going to want to do is check this. So I'm going to use the top equation first, negative 9x plus 9y equals 9. And combining these, negative 9 times 4 is uh, negative 36. 9 times 5 is 45. This needs to equal 9. And if it's not true, we know we did something wrong. So negative 36 plus 45 is 9, which does equal 9. So this first equation checks off. All right, so I've written the second equation right here. And negative 4 times 4 is 16, minus 5 times 5 is 25. That's a negative 16, I apologize. And this needs to equal negative 41. When I combine those, I, these two here, negative 16 minus 25, I get negative 41 equals negative 41, which is a true statement. So as it turns out, the second equation also checks off, and I know for a surety that my original answer is correct.